what's up you guys welcome back to another video on my channel thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for coming back today i'm going to be doing a try on haul and i haven't done one in quite some time and i actually have a few more sustainable brands and kind of exciting pieces to talk to you guys about and show you so as always i will have everything that i show you guys in try on linked down below in the description box if you want to go check out anything and get some more sustainable pieces for your own wardrobe i have all types of things i have like clothing dresses accessories and like bras bralettes uh undergarments i found good options for underwear but i was kind of trying to find a more sustainable brand to order from for bras for a while now and so i decided to try out two different brands and not really compare them but just get a couple pieces from each and i'm really happy with my purchases so, so the first brand i purchased from is everlane and i've actually never ordered anything before but i've followed them for so long and i feel like this was a really good introduction to the brand you can read openly about all their practices on their website which is really cool so for me i just like really comfy bralettes and like t-shirt bras i don't like anything that really digs into me so i try to go just extreme comfort whenever i'm getting bras so these are called their tank bras not like a full sports bra they're more just like a t-shirt bra i would say this is a like really light baby dusty pink one and then i got the same one in white i really like neutral trolls for bralettes so i like nudes and whites and lighter colors because they can just pair under everything they're a little bit a little bit lower cut than i was expecting not like a v-neck but they go down a little bit lower than i would expect and i think i got these in a medium yeah i got both of these in a medium i must say they are very comfortable i feel like i got a good size i think these are pretty affordable as well especially for being sustainable i believe they're 20 dollars each which i think is pretty good for a comfy bra that you're gonna wear like every Every single day and you can know that it is made well now that's all i ended up getting from everlane so like i said it was kind of just my first time trying out their pieces but i feel like i definitely will be ordering some more from them because i'm just so impressed with the brand and i want to try out a lot more things and then another brand that i ordered a couple bralettes from as well just because i wanted to try out some different styles is a brand that i've talked to you guys about before in my videos it's called packed apparel so they sell packed in a bunch of whole food stores nationwide but they also sell it online and um, I am a fan of their brand. The only thing I don't like about their packaging, um, they do send in like a nice cardboard, fully recyclable uh, outer package. But then on the inside, all of the items are wrapped individually in plastic. So I feel like that's definitely something that Packed could improve. So I would say that isn't great if you are very concerned about packaging obviously you can recycle it but other than that i do really think they have a bunch of high quality products it is 100 percent organic cotton and they're pretty open about their sustainability practices as well you can read about it on their website just like i mentioned for everlane these bras i actually got in a size large because i had a bralette before from pax that was a medium and the band was getting a bit tight on me because uh my boobs have been growing a little bit lately so i ended up getting a large and these are kind of like i feel like not necessarily the perfect size a teensy bit big but not big enough that i would want to return them and they do come with padding which you can remove but i thought these bralettes are so pretty this is a baby blue one that i absolutely adore i just think the color of it is so gorgeous and i also like how these have a little crisscross back but once again these have no like underwire they just have like a soft elastic band at the bottom only thing about these is you'll notice the try on they are pretty low cut and i got the same one in white this is what it looks like and i actually already removed the padding out of this one they're really pretty with the straps i think they look really nice on so i also got these gray joggers and i think i got these in a medium yeah and these are just the organic cotton joggers if you guys know me you know how much i love jogger sweatpants they're literally my favorite clothing item i wear them i'm wearing them right now under my top that kind of looks put together for this video i wear them every single day like or night when i'm just at my house chilling these ones are pretty flattering um you can kind of wear them more high-waisted and like tighten it or you can wear them super low and really really comfy so these are totally unisex obviously um and they're very comfortable very soft and i feel like they're the perfect thickness so if you guys like sweatpants too they definitely have some good options for like leggings sweatpants all that kind of jazz they have a ton of clothes on their website so i believe i also have a discount code for you guys so i'll have the info on the screen and i'll have the code in the description box for you guys to use if you want to order anything unpacked because that's definitely 
a good deal. All right guys, now if you know me, you know that I love festival season and I did get a new backpack for festival season this year. I'm gonna be trying it out for the first time at Electric Forest this week. If you guys know the brand Matt and Nat, um, they're actually a vegan handbag company. They make wallets, handbags, backpacks, all like leather goods, but completely vegan. They do have very, very high quality vegan leather. So if that's something that's important to you, I definitely recommend their brand. Um, I'll have it linked down below. So this bag isn't something I would normally go for, but when I saw them post a picture of it on their Instagram, I thought it would be a perfect bag for festivals and concerts because it is actually a clear backpack with um, black leather. Now you can get this in a couple other colors as well, but I always just go with like a black backpack typically. So on their tag, it says, by choosing this product, you are supporting the cruelty-free movement. And it also says, the lining of every one of our products is made from 100% recycled plastic bottles. This year, we have recycled over 6 million plus plastic bottles. So you guys know, how can I not support that recycling plastic and making it into a new item? So this bag is going to be everything. It's just gonna be the perfect size for my water bottle, my like tapestry for sitting on the ground or a little blanket, um, my wallet, just all the essentials that I need. And also like just beyond festival season, I feel like this is the perfect size and it's so summery with the clear. Really happy about this purchase. Okay, now this next item is not actually something that I would say is sustainable, but I felt like including them in this video because I've been wanting these for so long and they actually do make them in a vegan leather version. I got a pair of white Birkenstocks for the summer and just like as an everyday sandal. So I got these when I was in LA, but I've been wanting them. They're already kind of dirty, so I'm just gonna like put them down now. <laughs> but I've been wanting these for so long so freaking long since like last summer and I've had like not fake Birkenstocks but shoes that look like Birks but they're not like real ones and I just wanted to get a pair that would last me so long you can always send them in to be resold and it's just I feel like pretty easy to keep them clean and keep them looking nice like I said they do have these available in vegan leather but when I went to the store they didn't actually have them available in this color so I had just kind of planned to get this one anyway so that is why I got these I was really happy with this purchase um, I'll link these down below if you guys are interested, but I, these are my babies. I've been wearing them every day. You can already tell they're like already a little worn. All right, next you guys, I mentioned in my what's in my purse video, if you watched it, the bag I actually had in that video is from Rent the Runway, which I've actually been newly trying out their service uh, for the past. This is my second month now to try it out. And guys, I can't even tell you how happy I am that I found this service i didn't know how affordable it was i i didn't know how it worked like i thought that you just rent something if you need like a dress for a wedding or something like that and then you send it back but they actually have like plans monthly plans that you can do i believe i got a discount when i signed up for my first month but now i have an unlimited membership which means you can get four items at a time and then you can swap them out if you are over something so you can like have a dress, wear it once or twice, and then you can send it back and get another item sent to you right away. And they're so fast with the shipping. Like they'll send you your stuff within two days, at least for me, I got my stuff within two days of ordering it. And you guys might not think of Rent the Runway as a sustainable brand, but I have been so impressed with them. So it actually is very cool because if you think about the pieces, they just get to you for a month and then you send them back and they get to go to somebody else. So it's already like, recycled fashion and another reason i would say they're pretty sustainable is because they send it to you in this reusable garment bag it's like a navy blue garment bag and you actually have to send your items back in that same garment bag and so you don't create any extra waste from getting the package or sending it back the nicer dresses do come in like a plastic uh like a sleeve like a protective garment bag but you actually send those back with your dress and they recycle them and recycle reuse the hangers it's just so cool that you don't get a box or like extra plastic or extra you know packaging you just send it all back in the exact same packaging for them to reuse all right so let's talk about my current shipment i have a lot of things i have like three dresses and then a bunch of accessories this is probably my favorite thing <laughs> i can't even decide this is a adorable opening ceremony dress i'm so excited to show you guys the try on because i feel like this just fits me really well and i'm so happy with it i also think it's a really good length i don't think it's too short and look how freaking cute this is i just can't get over it i love it so much so this is one of my first pieces i mean i'm not even sure what the retail price on this is but i would 
guess like 150 to 200 dollars and you're getting four pieces a month i just feel like i didn't know how affordable it was and so i'm definitely going to be using their service from here on out my next thing is another dress because i just feel like their dresses are so beautiful and they have so many to choose from it is this gorgeous blue with red florals i love the neckline and the tie i think it's so flattering and the length is really pretty this is the brand hmm, Tallulah la maison Tallulah and i also got a medium in this dress and i think it fits perfectly did i get another dress yes i did <laughs> um this dress is a gorgeous little yellow flowy dress with some white florals and this is from mink pink which is one of my favorite brands i have a few pieces from them and i really love it i think it's a really nice length um really comfy it is pretty low cut so i definitely will be wearing a nice bralette under it it's casual but also you could definitely dress it up for a nice evening i also got two pairs of sunglasses to try out for the month from rent the runway i can't decide which ones i like more these ones i got specifically to wear at electric forest because they're kind of like funky and fun they're super cute and i feel like these came to me brand new because it does not look like anyone's ever worn these and then these ones are kind of like a really cute aviator but they're not huge like a typical aviator that i would wear they're more relax they're very like unisex and they're very just match with everything i'm not sure i know the brand on these <laughs> but i will link them on the rent the runway site down below and i believe these were like a 200 or something dollar value so once again it's just like so much value for your money every single month and then lastly from rent the runway <laughs> one more thing i got a new bag for the month since the one in my what's in my purse i told you guys i was only gonna have that one for the month and now i have another one it's another just like little black bag but i love a good just crossbody black bag so this is by zach posen and it's super tiny it's kind of like a little bucket bag but then it has this flap on top and it has all these cool chromatic little oh this one kind of fell off but um it just attaches here here and here it matches with everything and since i got it in the mail i've used it every single day so definitely can't complain it's a little bit small i guess i can have one complaint it's a little bit small it doesn't fit like my water bottle and stuff in it but other than that it fits all the essentials phone wallet keys good stuff all right and then lastly guys i wanted to show you a couple things i picked up in la if you didn't see my vlog actually i haven't really shown all of this stuff besides this one dress this stuff is actually just all from nordstrom and uniqlo so I don't really think either of those brands is very sustainable so <laughs> i kind of just saved this stuff for the end of this video to show you guys um just a few extra pieces that i did pick up and also that i'm not exclusively like leaving out stores and brands that i do like i'm just trying to be better and shop more sustainably but also i am definitely not eliminating stores like nordstrom from my life and top shop because i still really enjoy those stores so you guys might have already seen me wear this in my la vlog but this is a gorgeous mustard yellow sundress it's kind of like in between midi and maxi length it has a really flowy skirt and it's from the brand band of gypsies which i got at nordstrom i just love this i've already worn this like three or four times since i bought it <laughs> like less than two weeks ago so if that shows you anything about how much i love it and yellow is like my color of the moment right now yellow and baby blue so i already have two yellow dresses in this haul this is the second one i found that dress on the nordstrom website by the way so it is still available i'll have a link down below if you guys want to check it out and then lastly just a couple more things um this is a really basic piece but it's just this lace tank from nordstrom it looks really tiny but it totally expands but i just got this as a basic summery top that can match with any bottom and i've already worn it like three times since i got it so and then the very last thing in this video i bought at uniqlo um i've never actually shopped there and i must say i wasn't very impressed it's just kind of like basic pieces but i didn't like a lot of the tops but i did really like these bottoms i thought their bottoms were more cute than their tops so these are a pair of ivory are they like culottes or just high-waisted flowy pants and they kind of just go with everything they're very summery and breezy pants and they have a little tie at the waist so they're very flattering they kind of just suck everything in but they're all they're still comfy enough that you can like breathe in them and like eat food in them and they won't like cut off your circulation so that is very important to me so those are kind of like the last few things that i picked up on my la trip that i hadn't really shown you guys yet and then all my good sustainable stuff in the beginning of this video so i'm gonna go and film the try on part of this video 
because I haven't filmed it yet and you guys will have already seen all that come together. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I know I haven't done a haul in a while and I know you guys like seeing my more sustainability focused videos. I want to thank you so much for the love on those recently. So I hope it was kind of fun to see a little mix of sustainability and fashion and try on haul. Once again, everything will be linked down below for you guys to go check everything out. And I think that is about it. You guys are amazing. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.